What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing a weekday show on Twitch for the winter. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we're going to be playing a six-player progressive game on Central America. Uh, fog is on. Blizzards, portals, and alliances are off, and I'm in the third position. So settings for this game. World domination on Central America. Auto setup 60. Second turn, we have an automated bot. Expert, progressive. Balance splits dice with fog on and everything else off. And I'm in, yeah, I'm in position three. In the, the first position, we have purple players Woodrow Hewn from the United States of America. We have five stack in the Northeast. And I see him working on Australia. All right, so we know he's either here or here. My guess would be here. The purple has most of Australia, or I call it Australia, South America. Um, two points to enter, and it's worth plus three. The Australia of this board. In the second position, we have the red player, the fighter Yo from Germany. I'm in position three, playing as green. In the fourth position, the yellow player is Peeb Oro, 1987, also from Germany. Position five, we have Chico, 1928, from Canada, playing as black. And finally, the blue player from Switzerland, Bale Joe Hall. I don't see where red is. I don't think I keep this position alive. I think my take is here. And I'll strengthen Newfoundland. So the reason this is, I'm, I'm in one of my favorite spots in this map is in Newfoundland. So I can get a card off Hispaniola. I don't want to lose this because it's my furthest south position. I have most of my material concentrated in the north of the map. I'm going to move these twos together. I'm going to move. It's kind of arbitrary which way I want to move. But I think I want to move this way. To hopefully encourage red to cut down. <coughs> if I could control... The two top corners of this map, that would be really good long term. And then my job is to see who wants what and who takes what. Yellow's going to move into the corner or hopefully move out. Good. This is good. Yellow can move down into there too. No. Need to fortify somewhere else. So I think from this position, my next card would be in either uh, Labrador or Nova Scotia. Add one troop here, one troop there. Move by four up. All right, so we see black hitting yellow. Black's going to take Louisiana. Worth plus three. Take a quick look at the bonuses. Canada across the top is worth six. Northern U.S. plus four. Southern U.S. plus four. Old Northwest and Louisiana were three each. Great Plains is five. Mexico is five. Central America is three. Caribbean is four. And South America is three. If you can hold it, we see them move a bunch of material into that Louisiana position. So black is going to be strong. Likely holding a plus three. We don't see where blue goes. Okay. Vision. Is one of the most important things when you're playing in the fog. You need to figure out where people are when the kills are viable. And when and if someone else messed up so that you can capitalize. We didn't see any of what blue did. Okay, my best guess is purple's going to continue to take South America. Yeah, one, two. But not roll the two. We went the other way and lost four troops. All right, so purple is... Okay, purple is weak here. Next turn, I predict we see this five stack start to move down. So 
Uh, what does red want? I don't yet know what red wants. Trying to figure out what position everyone's trying to take. Yeah, I think I get my card here. All right, so I'm going to four stack in Cuba. Get my card in Nova Scotia. That's good. Move my troops up. Hopefully push yellow down into black and cause a war. Either yellow tries to take this bonus or yellow goes for the break. All right, so that worked nicely. Yellow took that bonus. So they're going to be next to black. I think the likelihood of that causing a war is high. Yeah, and black did, did take Louisiana. So black is strong here. And blue, I still can't figure out where they are. Blue and red, I don't see. Maybe they're fighting in Mexico. We see some blue. All right, it's likely blue has taken Mexico. Or he's just an over-attacker. Is that a bot? No, no one's a bot yet. Also good to check to see if everyone is still connected. All right, that's turn two. So I know purple is here. I know black is here. I know yellow is here. I know blue is really over attacking. Okay, so blue's probably a noob. I know nobody's up here in my corner. Let's see what purple does. Purple adds to the three and goes take, take, take. Yes, and they do hold South America now. But weak, not very strong. I'm in a lot of positions right now. Okay, red has a plus three. Seven. Red is a plus four. Which one? This one. Red has this. Has to be. Okay, so red is next to purple here. Red's in central. Okay. And they move down. <sighs> okay, so I'm in a lot of places. Now I take New Brunswick. I'm just saying, please don't go that way. I would like to control this corner of the map and push out. Did yellow hold? Yes. All right, so everyone's holding bonuses. This is interesting. They're being good neighbors with each other. Okay, yellow working on a second bonus. Nobody yet controls this. Black still holds. They're being good neighbors to each other. So my, intu my intuition that these guys are going to start wars with each other, if that doesn't happen, that's actually quite bad for me. 
because then I end up in a situation where just about everyone else has more troops than I do. And the only way I can hold advantage is by being in multiple positions. Yeah, that was a good take for black. I'm going to slowly creep out of this corner. When enough purple moves, I can maybe take this bonus. But as right now, it doesn't really make sense for me to hit a five stack and a four stack. Just to hold a plus four that I won't even take until the fourth turn. Did we see blue hold? Yes, we did. Blue has Mexico. All right, everyone getting a lot of extra troops. Everyone has a bonus but me. Okay, so nobody knows exactly where I am. Yellow is here, black is here, blue is here, red is here, purple is here. Upside for me is I am reasonably well hidden. Downside is, who's out please? Okay, there's a lot less material in this bonus now. Can I roll a seven V4? Does red also leave? This is now purple's border. Did red get broken? Red got broken. Red got broken by blue, and now they're going to punch into Mexico. Either that or the other way. They got punch they got broken by purple. I wonder which one it is. We do finally see a war occur. Is bad for red. And they use their first trade to try and reestablish their position. Do they bought? <laughs> All right. I'm going to get taken Bahamas. So this has the utility of taking red out of, out of a position. So I know red is here, and I bet you one, two, three is its remaining exteriors. Okay. Is yellow gonna work on great plans? Yellow sets. What are they gonna work on? They're gonna hit my they're gonna hit reds three. Early sets we're seeing. So these guys are giving away some of the equity that they uh earn by holding bonuses by uh trading early. Okay, yellow goes into blue, yellow takes great plans. It's in the middle of Great Plains with the seven. All right. Two players we see with early trades. Black still holds Louisiana. I need to remove black from this pocket. Black also sets early. Okay. I don't see any of what black is up to, but my, my bet is somebody broke Mexico. <clears throat> it's too large and it's too valuable for someone to not break it. And I don't think blue held it very well. I think blue was over attacking. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah. Someone broke Mexico. But blue doesn't set. I can move this stack up and let red move into me if they want, which would give me essentially a hidden kill when and if they get removed from this position. I, I can, I'm very confident I see all of red. And purple held, right? Yes, purple held. Okay. 
The purple is going to stack here and here and start pushing into red. I don't think red holds their position. I think red loses it, and then I eat them for their cards in two turns up here. Yeah, this is going into red now. That's what purple's doing. So I'm pretty sure I see all of purple. Purple is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then some of these territories. The only part of the map I really can't see is over here. So I know blue held Mexico, so they're up to here, but I don't know who's in the bottom of the Great Plains. That's the only piece, and a little bit of the south I can't see. These three, and then these three I can't see. I know Louisiana, I know Old Northwest, I know Mexico, I know pretty much everything. Incidentally, I pretty much know everything below my five even though I haven't been able to see it, just by the bonuses that we saw our opponents take and then the likely plays that they were going to make. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to strengthen this by one just because I really, really don't want to lose this position. I'm going to cut up with my six into black and open the road for red to hit into me. Now, normally you'd be like, why would you want your opponent to hit into you? So because I'm pretty sure red loses this war, sandwich between Mexico and South America. Pretty sure purple just hit him. That means he'll, he won't have a bonus again, and eventually he'll lose this position. Then red will be in one, two, three places, all of which I can see, and I can get that kill when he's holding the cards. So I think if he attacks into me, long term that's beneficial for me because I route him in this corner, and then I get the value. <coughs> Black has held this bonus since turn one. But thankfully, I don't see much of what he's doing. I'm going to take away Black's final exterior. And then I'll have... I have most of my material in Canada, but this six is key to my vision for this entire section of the board. And everyone's still connected. Okay, red, red disconnected. Red's a bot. Cool. Red is now an AI. I won't take them on two cards. I'll take them on three. Did Mexico hold? Mexico did not hold. They're sitting with a 10 stack. Oy. I do not want to see that pointed at me. And purple got seven. So they don't have this yet. Red is somewhere in here. I can actually take a look with my six. Purple sets, gets the 10. All right, I will get the 12 trade. Blue gets the biggest trade. I think I move the six away because that 10, it might be going this way, but it might be going this way, and I don't want that to happen. All right, purple putting material up, I don't like. Okay, they punch red. They're trying to kill red. And they win a 3v2. Okay, they don't see red's final position. This is Red's final position. I get this kill right now. Excellent. See how I was able to deduce that? So I figured out where Red was. That's it, right? Just three. Yeah, that's Red's final position. Bam, three cards. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, and he goes bad neighbor. Oh, he doesn't get a card. Damn it. Damn it, I wanted three cards. Okay, well, I get a really, really easy fed kill. But I'm down a card from that, so. <laughs> so a huge stack. Hit black, knock his lights out of the north. I get the easy kill on red. I'm holding five cards. Move my seven off from Cuba because I'm scared of that 10 stack, but I see the entire top of this map and I haven't gone bad neighbor to yellow yet. So yellow is now about to take great planes. We're not going to be letting them get plus eight a turn. That doesn't make any sense. How much yellow exists? I'm pretty sure I see all of yellow in this section of the board. So yeah, there's no yellow here. There's no yellow here. Okay, 
So I have reasonable kill lines on yellow now. And I'll have the 20 trade to do it. They have three cards, which would set me in in turn. That seems like a kill worth making. So I can hit off the seven. Yeah, I'm certain they're not here. I'm certain they're not here. I'm certain they're not here. So yellow exists in this third of the board. They have a lot of it. They have probably great planes. But I don't think they live to set in. Okay, so does he hold Mexico? He doesn't. That's going into purple. Blue sets. Punchy? Yeah, hits a five. That's going into purple. Purple's going to be weak too. How hard does he hit? Now we get to... Now we track how many attacks he makes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Break South America. Six. Oh, baby. I'm going to kill purple. Yep. This is all of purple. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think purple's weaker than yellow, so I, I go for that kill first. Add here and see what's up here in the pocket, though. Yeah, purple only gets three. If he sets, he punches blue back. If he doesn't set, I eat him for four cards. He sets, he punches blue back. Okay, I kill blue instead. This is going this way. No, it goes all the way around. Oh man, he was weak. Okay, now we count the number of attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But he doesn't break Mexico. And do we keep going? Yep. 11. 12. Doesn't break Mexico. Okay. I'm going to go for the kill on yellow now. I'm very confident I get it. Okay, black is there. I sure do get it. All right now, how weak is blue? I don't think blue is weak enough to kill right, right, right now. I also see them there. I'm going to line myself up for the kill on purple. Maybe I do double stacker. We have a 20 stack here. And 20 stack here. That gives me lines on either of those players. Yeah, the hunting is going really well so far. Okay, Blast's going to set. Blast's going to hit me. And break my bonuses. Which he should do. Because you definitely don't let me get Canada. Or maybe he kills blue. Yeah, black goes with a kill on blue, which won't set him in turn. And I have a set on three. Oh, okay. I think I can sweep this game. Black can kill blue. Yes, he's going to try. He's going to run out of time. Black moves slowly. He feeds the kill to blue, maybe to purple, though, which would be bad for me. Because that will set purple in. Unless blue sets now. If blue has a set on three, does black finish? He might have it in time. Yeah, one la left. Last territory? Death. Yeah. Okay, cool. Blue dies. So purple is here, black is here. Black is holding four cards. Can I kill them? 
think I need to kill purple. And he doesn't break my bonuses. I'm holding Canada and Old Northwest. So I'm going to get an additional nine troops on my turn. Yeah, I think I have an easy kill on purple. Not easy. Not easy. I think I have a kill on purple. We'll use the set and kill him. Black's holding four cards. Maybe I use the set and kill black. Tricky sitch. I'm going to add to my 20. I'm going to set, add to my 24, kill purple, and then punch black as hard as I can. I won't win the game this turn, and black will have a chance to counterattack me. <clears throat> but I will punch the absolute crap out of black. All right, that's pretty good. All right, I think I got him. He doesn't move fast enough to stop me. I have the entire board. He has four cards. And I have another set on three. That's game, ladies and gentlemen. Black sets and gets the 45. He's going to hit me as hard as he can. And I'm going to counterattack with an equivalent set and win. And that is how this cookie crumbled. Pretty happy with that game. I'm happy with how I can deduce locations in fog. Um, I hope some of that was instructive. Even if black had speed, they wouldn't have, a, have the edge. Because so I have twice their material. Give them a good game. And we send it home. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better at the Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube, and I'm streaming on Twitch weekdays, Monday to Friday. Defeating two novices, two beginners, and an intermediate. I really hope you enjoyed, and for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.